Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another Dying Light 2 video. Now last week I made a video talking about the biggest update for Dying Light 2 and in that video I promised a secret update video where I basically tell you about everything they have changed or added in the game. So I'm actually uploading that video right now and I'm so sorry for the delay because this week has been really busy with Dead Island 2. But since I'm back with this Dying Light video, I'll be telling you about all the secret changes and I will also talk about the hotfix that was released few days later. The hotfix released has actually fixed a lot of bugs that came with the biggest update so it's definitely worth your time. Also I have a request for everyone watching this video. This week I made a Dead Island 2 review and I put a lot of effort into that. But that video was actually age restricted for few hours before it got resolved and let's just say the video is not doing great because of that. So if you guys can go watch that video for me and leave a comment in that video then it would be awesome and would definitely boost my morale. The link for the review would be in the description. Thank you so much and now let's start with the first secret change in Dying Light 2. Now if you have played the game enough after the update then you would have realized few changes with the volatile. Yes, the Volatile actually got a new spit. Check this out. So after the update, the Volatiles will have this red color spit now, which honestly looks cool. Now moving on to our next change. I'm pretty sure many people did not notice this change, but if you tried opening your binoculars, you will be surprised to find out that they actually fixed the binoculars. And when I say they fixed it, I literally mean they fixed it. This is the old binoculars with the broken glass, and now this is what it looks like in the latest update. I mean, I feel like it's an unnecessary change, but I'll pass because I barely use this thing. Now moving on to our next change that was added with the gut feeling update. Techline actually added a new far jump animation. Check it out. I mean I won't really call it a new animation since it was already in the game files but what's funny is that they actually removed this far jump animation in the recent hotfix 1.10.2 which means they added this in the gut filling update and then removed it instantly in the next hotfix. I honestly don't know why they did that because in my opinion it actually looked great but now it's removed so it is what it is. Now moving on to our next change. So I'm sure you guys remember that when the bolters run away you can actually see their footprints on the ground that glows yellow and that was it. But now in the latest update the bolters will drop toxic pools on the ground making it even hard for you to catch them. Check this out. Now moving on to our next change that was done with the drop kick. So basically in the latest update the drop kick was faster and you could see a lot of camera shaking. And this is what it looks like now in the latest update. Now moving on to our next change, so Techland has made some changes, actually quite a lot of changes in the Bloody Ties DLC. Like for example, everybody who played Bloody Ties DLC complained about how the relationship between Aiden and Chiro was rushed and how the introduction part really sucked. So to fix that, you know what Techland did? Well, they removed all the introduction cutscenes. All the cutscenes are gone. So if you remember the cutscene where the guy asked for a password and then you would meet Chiro who steals the money from you and then there's a chase segment, then you go and meet Chiro, you talk, you fight the zombies together and he tells you the password to enter the place. So well, all of that is actually now removed and honestly I'm glad they removed it because the introduction sucked big time. Anyways, now when you play the Bloody Ties DLC, you will be greeted with this new cutscene, so check it out. In you go. Now there are a lot of changes done to many cutscenes in the game. Yes, there are some changes done to the PK cutscenes, Lawan cutscenes and some more Bloody Ties changes. So being honest, showing all of that in this video would be really hard because it would make the video longer than an hour and we don't want that. So just for you guys, I'll be uploading YouTube short clips of all these cutscenes and dialogues so you can learn about everything. Alright, now moving on to our next change done with the grapple ability. So back then you could grapple and throw the zombies just like this. But now with the latest update, there are new ways to grapple and throw them. So check it out. <laughs> Now moving on to our next change done with the boosters. So if you open your menu and check the boosters you always used, well you will realize something that is actually severely nerfed. Yes, the duration and the effectiveness of the booster has been reduced by 45% and that's a big and noticeable change. This means that the zombie will now do some more damage even if you are using a toughness booster. And the same nerf has been applied to other boosters as well. So I really want to hear your thoughts on this, so comment below if you like this change or not. 
Now moving on to our next change which is done to the weapon animation. So the katana in the game has got a new power attack animation. And finally the weapon swings faster than before and some small tweaks have been done to the weapon animation. This is done so it doesn't bounce off when hitting enemies. Now there are some more small changes like you could only dodge 3 times in the past and then you would be on the ground. But in the latest patch you can now dodge up to 5 times. This change is actually really good. Now moving on to our next change that is done with the electrical boxes and oil lamps. So Previously the electric boxes and oil lamps used to kill you almost instantly but now it's been nerfed and you won't die instantly. I mean just check it out. Now moving on to our next change that is done to St. Paul trampolines. So now when you try to jump on the trampolines you will see this new animation. Check it out. Then the next change is obviously something you all must have noticed. A lot of the UI elements, item ranks, item backgrounds and location widget have been changed. So obviously it now looks different and honestly it looks way better than before. Now those were the secret changes me and my friend Sekrovich found in the game files. Now it's time to check out the new hotfix 1.10.2. So obviously the first thing they changed is the far jump skill animation and they actually reverted it back to the old one. <laughs> Then in the same update they have actually fixed the camera smoothing in run animation. Then they have fixed the bug where people were not able to grapple zombies with their grappling hook. Then they have fixed all the major crash on consoles, fixing the freezing on consoles, especially on Xbox. By the way, they have also fixed the issue that was causing people to lose their save files, which actually sucked. Then after that, they have also fixed the issue with the mods and charms not appearing on the skull cut weapon. After that, they have fixed some performance issues related to fogs that were causing lags in the game. Then after this, they have fixed the issue with the video settings being reset on their own. And just like that, there are certain more bugs fixing either co-op bugs or event related bugs that came with the gut feeling update. Now, I actually want to hear your thoughts on this update. So comment below and let me know what you guys think about the update. So just like I always say, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and stay human.